we're going to start this video with a square pyramid problem. So put the video on pause right away and see if you can answer this question. So we're looking for surface area and volume. To find the surface area, we need a few things. Uh, we need the area of the base. which we show with the capital B. Right, and if we look at our picture, uh, the height is 15 and the slant height is 17. And so we need to find the bottom of this right triangle. So if this is 17 and this is 15, then I can say that the uh, third side is 8 or if we need to we can say 17 squared is equal to 15 squared plus b squared and solve for b. So if this is 8 that means the whole edge is twice that which is 16. So b is 16 times 16 which is 256. And I know the height is 15 and the slant height L is 17. That was given to me. So I can find the surface area of this as 1 half. The perimeter, which is 16 times 4, which is 64. times the slant height, which is 17, and then plus the area of the base, which is 256. And then when you type all this into your calculator, you get 64 times 17 times a half, and then add 256 to it, you get 800. So you have a surface area of 800 uh, units squared. And then volume is one third the area of the base times the height. And we already know these two things. The area of the base is 256 and the height is 15. And when you type that in your calculator, you get 1,280 units cubed. So in this uh, video, we're going to look at uh, cylinders, uh, cones, and then spheres. Um, the Start with the cylinder. Uh, the surface area formula is as follows. Uh, notice that we're finding the area of the base. And then we're finding the circumference times the height or the perimeter times the height. So it holds, it stays true to our formula for the area of a uh, prism, which is more specific for circles. And the volume is the area of the base times the height. And we'll get our radius from either the top or the bottom um, of the cylinder. The radius will be of the circular base. So if we want to find the surface area and volume for this cylinder, um, my radius is 5 and my height is 3. And so the surface area is 2 pi r squared. That's the area of the circles times 2. And the circumference, 2 pi r times the height, um, which will be 3. And we can fill everything in and we get 2 pi times 5 squared plus 2 pi times 5 times 3. If we want to simplify this, we can, although you can type this into your calculator as is. Uh, we could make it uh, 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50 pi plus 15 times 2 is 30 pi. And so that's 80 pi, uh, which you can type in your calculator and you get a surface area of about 
251.33. And we'll say units squared. Okay, and then for volume, we're going to find the area of the base, pi r squared, and multiply it times the height. So that's pi times the radius, 5 squared, times the height, which is 3. And so my volume would be 75 pi, or about 235.62 units cubed. So in problem two, I was told the cylinder has a volume of 160 pi inches cubed and a height of 10 inches. I want to find the surface area. So first let's deal with the fact that volume is 160 pi and height is 10 inches. Because I know volume is pi r squared times height, I can plug in everything I know. I know 160 pi is equal to pi. I don't know the radius, um, but I do know the height is 10. And so I can divide by 10 pi to solve for r. So if I divide by 10 pi, my the r will be by itself. So 160 divided by 10 is 16, and the pi's divide to 1 or cancel as we say. And then r squared would be plus or minus 4, but it doesn't make sense to have a negative radius, so we're just going to use the positive one, uh, 4. And we get 4 by taking the square root of r squared and the square root of 16. Um, and then to find the volume, or sorry, to find the surface area, I have all the information now. So I can do 2 times pi r squared plus 2 pi r times the height, which is 10. And so the surface area would be 16 times 2 is 32 pi, plus 4 times 10 is 40, times 2 is 80 pi. Uh, this gives us a surface area of 112 pi units squared. And you could type that in your calculator if you want to get a decimal version. Uh, it's about 351.86 units squared. Okay, for a cone, we have the fact that the surface area is pi r times the slant height plus pi r squared. And then the volume is one third pi r squared times height. So we have to distinguish between slant height and height once again. So I want to find the surface area and volume for a cone. So a cone will look something like this. Uh, the radius is 7, and the height is 24 which means I need to find the slant height. So I'll take out that right triangle. And I can do a Pythagorean theorem. Uh, 7 squared plus 24 squared is equal to C squared. Um, and when I solve that, I get 25. So that gives me a slant height of 25. So now I can find the surface area, uh, which is pi times the radius, uh, which is 7, times the slant height, which we found to be 25, and then plus the area of that circle on the bottom, pi r squared. And that would give me 175 pi plus 49 pi. or 224 pi units squared. And then for the volume, I have one third pi r squared h 
is my formula. So one third times pi, and then the radius is seven, and the height is 24. And it's seven squared. And so that's something you can type in your calculator, 49 times 24, then divide it by three, and you get 392 pi units cubed, which if we want a decimal approximation, I uh, just take 392 times pi to get 1,231.5 units cubed. Now let's talk uh, about spheres. Spheres, the formula for surface area is pi r squared, and the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. It's a lot of formulas. Make sure you're writing these down and do what you can to memorize them. So uh, on this example, uh, we want to find the surface area and volume uh, for a sphere. And make sure that you try to work this on your own. Uh, first thing we we'll want to do is find the radius, which is the diameter divided by 2, which is 6. Uh, that means the surface area is 4 pi r squared, or 6 squared. That gives me a surface area of 144 pi units squared. Volume is one third, sorry, four thirds uh, pi r cubed. Um, so I can fill in my radius of six. And if I want to leave that in terms of pi, I get 288 pi, which is about 904.78 units cubed. Remember that volume is cubed and area is squared. Also, remember that the answer in terms of pi is always the exact answer. So this is exact and this is would be the approximate. Now let's kind of work the other way. If I want to find the radius and volume of a sphere with an area of 400 pi centimeters cubed, uh, or the surface area we'll say. So that would be 400 pi is equal to 4 pi r squared. And so I solve for the radius first. I divide by 4 pi. And that gives me 100 is equal to r squared. And when you take the square root, you get the radius is equal to 10. And now if I want to find the volume, I can plug that into my volume equation. So volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And so I can plug in my radius, uh, which we said was 10. And then we can type that in to get just a decimal approximation. And when you do so, you get 4,188.79 units cubed. Okay, and take a look at this last one. Push, push pause, and then we'll work this out. So here's the solution to this. Uh, we set the volume equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Uh, if you multiply by 3 on both sides, the 3's cancel. And then you can divide by 4 pi and take the cube root. Uh, to find r. Once you find r, you can plug that back into the surface area formula and find the surface area. So good luck with the problems on this section.